Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. A few weeks ago I made a video where I planted some tomato seeds and some basil seeds in these tiny little flower pots. And uh, some of my viewers wanted to have an update of how the plants are doing. So anyway, um, last week, or the week before, the week before I guess, I transplanted them into bigger pots because they were starting to you know, grow out of those little tiny ones. And um, I've also been adding this liquid plant food. Um, you add a tablespoon and a liter of water and you pour approximately half of that around each plant. Anyway, it also says to do this every 7 to 14 days for best results. So, it's been two weeks since I last fed them. So I'm um, going to do that now and uh, get, let you see what the, what the plants look like. Okay, so here we have the basil in the original little terracotta pots. And what I did is I just split them up into the three pots after I removed the tomatoes. Now these are the large tomatoes. I chose or I kept rather the the four strongest plants and put two in each of these pots and then over here I've got the cherry tomatoes and uh, as you can see I've got way too many plants in there so I'm going to transplant some of those into another pot okay so I've got a liter of water here so I'm going to put about a tablespoon of this plant food into it. That's about a tablespoon. the bottle and shake it up just to make sure that it's well stirred okay so I'm going to divide this amongst all of these pots give them a good drink I don't expect to get any tomatoes from these plants because I started them so late and our growing season here is so short. But anyway, it'll be an exercise in trying not to kill something <laughs> through neglect. Perhaps next year I'll get a 4x8 raised bed and then I can actually plant some tomatoes earlier on in the year and, uh, and get some produce out of them that way. Okay, so I said that I was going to transplant some of the cherry tomatoes because they're crowding each other out over there. So um, I guess I'll get to that. Okay, so I've got some potting soil here and an extra pot. So I'm going to try to remove some of these plants without actually killing them and transfer them over to there. Checking to see which ones might be easier to move. Uh, got two growing pretty much on top of each other right here, so they'll have to come up together. So I want to cut through the soil to take out a root ball and hopefully not disturb the roots too, too much. Let's 
set that close to the center there, I think. I'm gonna need some more potting mix. So I think I'll just leave this pot with two plants. And over here, I think what I'll do is I'll try to move this one further away from these two, more into this spot over here. And add some more soil here. Just move this one over somewhat, just so it's not crowding that other one so much. So hopefully I haven't disturbed them too much. I need to replace some of the soil in this pot. And the soil I'm using isn't um, expressly for vegetables, it's, um, it's just for house plants. So I would imagine that if I use one for vegetables, it would have more of the proper nutrients in it. Now that I've put some in here, I'm going to put the rest of this uh, water, this fertilized water in there. So hopefully moving these plants around wasn't too traumatic. But I guess we'll see in a few days. See, see if they survived it anyway. Okay, so there we go. The cherry tomatoes have been separated into two pots, and uh, the one that got transplanted looks a little wilty right now, but I think it's just the shock of the transplanting. So anyway, we'll wait and see if that one bounces back up again. As I said earlier, I don't expect to get any tomatoes from these plants. This has just been an exercise to um, see if I can raise a plant without actually killing it through neglect. But anyway, if they do develop blossoms, I'll be sure to put up another video about them. So, till next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.